I want to show how you can use the perfect t-test R script even if you've never used R before. Just follow along. First we need to install the required software. We'll start by installing R. Make sure that you select the correct version for your operating system, choose base and download the software. Just follow along with the installation instructions. Now that we've installed R, we also need R Studio. Make sure that you select the version that's right for your operating system. Download the software. Just follow along with the installation instructions. The final piece of software that we need is JAX. Click on the link, select the most latest version, select the version that's correct for your operating system, and download the software. Just follow the installation instructions. Now we have all the software we need. We can download the R Markdown files. Save the zip file to a folder, open the folder and unzip all the files. Enter the folder and open, for example, the perfect dependent t-test R Markdown script. Our studio will open and we'll see the script in the top left corner. Before we can run it, we also need to install all the required packages. The easiest way to do this is create a new file, a new R script, and in this window we'll copy paste some functions to install the packages. You can get the functions that you need from the GitHub page, just copy and paste. Select all the commands by pressing Ctrl A and then simply click the Run button to install all the required packages. This will take some time, so this is probably a good moment to get a cup of coffee. I've cut out some of the time period needed to install all the packages and now we're already done. You can close this script because we don't need it. You don't need to save it. Now we're back at the perfect dependent t-test R Markdown script. Because there's already demo data in the same folder as the R Markdown script, you can just click the knit word button to take a look at the output that's automatically generated if we analyze the demo data. The script starts running. And it will take some time because due to bootstrapping procedures, some of the calculations take a little time. Just be patient. As long as there's a stop symbol, visual here, it means that R is still working. Depending on how fast your computer is, this process may be faster or slower, but just be patient. Now it continues. And Word opens and displays all the automatically generated figures, graphs and analysis. For example, you can see a scatter plot with box plots to check for outliers. You can scroll down and see several tests for normality assumptions. You can take a look at the distribution, compare them to the normal distribution. You can also take a look at the QQ plot. And finally, you get some result sections. First for frequentist statistics, then for Bayesian statistics. And finally, for robust statistics. 
There are also some graphs that are automatically generated by the software. I hope this was helpful for you.